Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an American makeup haul. Yay! So everything I got, I got from Walgreens in the US. Obviously Walgreens doesn't ship to Australia. No! So I used a shipping service and the shipping service I used was ws1.com. It is so easy to use and everything at Walgreens is either half the price it is in Australia or isn't even out in Australia yet. So I'm going to insert a little clip on how to use ws1.com. It's so easy, I'm sure you guys can figure it out, but we'll insert the clip anyway. You just go to the ws1.com website and click the little sign up button. Uh, select your plan, then hit next. Enter your customer information, save and next. Then your payment information, then scroll down and hit pay. Then when you log in, this will be your screen. So now I'm heading over to Walgreens and going to the checkout. When it gets to the shipping information, you want to take the address that's appearing on your WS1 account and simply use that and the contact number as well. It's so easy to do and you will get email updates from WS1 with all your parcel information. So yeah, it's so easy and then once WS1 receives your shipment, they repackage it so that it's much lighter. And then you just log in and pay for the new weight and it only took three days to get to me from America, which is crazy. Nothing from America ever takes three days to get to me. So all of that aside, let's see what I ordered. Ooh. Okay, so let's start off with the stuff I got from Maybelline. And obviously you don't have to shop at Walgreens. WS1 forward any parcels from the US. So Amazon, Sephora, Ulta, Walgreens. I just chose Walgreens because they have Milani. Actually, let's start off with the product I got from Milani. So this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I've seen this all over YouTube. You can't get this anywhere in Australia, so I'm so excited to try it. I got the shade W5 Warm Beige and hopefully it matches me. I think it will. I think it's a pretty good match. Now onto the stuff I got from Maybelline. So first off, I got the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. This is out in Australia, but it was like $5 in the US and it's like $15 in Australia, so I bought it. I thought this would make a good highlight shade. I already have the shade 20, but it's a bit too dark to highlight with, so hopefully this will work. Then the next thing I bought from Maybelline is the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. This is in the shade 20 Light. This isn't out in Australia yet, so I'm excited to try it. And then I also got the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. This looks so pretty. This is something I've also seen all over YouTube. Oh my god, it looks so good. So I just got the shade 1 Light to Medium, but... <gasps> ooh, ooh. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love that highlight shade. Can't wait to try this. Then the last things I picked up from Maybelline are the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are yet another product that aren't out in Australia yet. So I grabbed the shade 40 Berry Boost and 5 Nude Thrill. Oh my god, these look so pretty. Ooh, they smell good too. Oh my god, this color is amazing, guys. Okay, moving on. What's next? L'Oreal. I need to wipe this off my hand before I get it on me. So next up is some stuff I got from L'Oreal. And first up is the famous Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Now we have two things that have a similar name in Australia, but I don't think they're the same. So I'm excited to try this. I got this in the shade 105 Natural Beige. Not sure if this is going to match me, but we'll make it work. You came all the way from America, I'm gonna make you work. I'll just have to like tan my body to match the foundation. Ooh, actually this might be a good match. But everyone keeps raving about this on YouTube and we don't have this particular one in Australia, so can't wait to try it. Then also from L'Oreal, I picked up two of the infallible eyeshadows. Now we already have this one in Australia, this is Ice Latte, uh, but we don't have Endless Sea. This is such a pretty teal color. But these were under $10 at Walgreens and in Australia they're about $20. And the last thing from L'Oreal I picked up is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Contouring and Highlighting Palette. I've never seen this before, we definitely don't have it in Australia, uh, but it looks really good. I picked up the shade 813 Light Claire. Let me see if I can open this. Ooh, there we go. The contour shade looks really ashy, which is obviously what you want in a contour. But this brush, what? Why would... Oh, I guess if you like 
do it this way and then, hmm, but no, not gonna use that. Sorry, L'Oreal. This highlight shade looks really nice too. Ooh, maybe not as bold as I would like, but it's a nice subtle highlight. Oh my god, I can't wait to use all of this in tutorials. Next up, I picked up two eyelashes. Now, Ardell eyelashes in Australia go for like $12 a pair, which is crazy. And I got these for like $2 each. That is like literally a $10 difference for eyelashes. So I grabbed the Wispies Black and the 120 Demis. These are my favorites. You can never have enough 120 Demis. And I'm losing my light. There's a storm coming, guys. How do I make this lighter? I think that's all right. Okay. Then I also got some stuff from e.l.f. Now we have like a very limited e.l.f. range in Australia. So I picked up the e.l.f. blush palette. I saw Desi Perkins rave about this on her Snapchat. So I can't wait to try it. If I can get it out of its box. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> So I got the shade Light, and this is what it looks like. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Probably wouldn't use this orange shade up here much, but the others really, really like them. Ooh, and they're so pigmented. I'm looking forward to using that. And then the other thing I got is the e.l.f. Studio Golden Bronzer. Let's see if I can open this one. Oh, this sounds so much easier to open. So I got this one in the shade Golden, and this is what it looks like. Ooh, it's so pretty. Let me just swatch that a little bit. Ooh, it's quite light, actually. But I think this would be nice for, like, an all-over golden shimmer. Mmm, I like. Then the last things I picked up are from Wet n Wild. We definitely do not have access to Wet n Wild in Australia, unfortunately, because these look really good. So I picked up two lip liners. This is the shade Fab Fuchsia, and this one is... where's the shades? Very red. Oh my god, these are so long. Are you serious? These are twice as long as any lip pencil I own. And then I also picked up this Wet n Wild Color Icon Face and Body... what? No. Glitter thing. I don't know, it looked really cool on the website. Let's see if I can open this. Oh my god. Why do you make your stuff so hard to open Wet n Wild? This is in the shade Bleached, if anyone's wondering. Okay, so I finally opened it. Let's see what this is like. Damn it, now it's closed again. Ooh. So it's just like a body glitter. Maybe it'd make a good base for like eyeshadow glitter. Then the last thing I picked up is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. Now I saw Kathleen Lights and Luster Lux. Right now I saw Kathleen Lights and Luster Lux rave about this on their Snapchat and YouTube channels. So I'm excited to try this. It looks like a really nice peachy color. Ooh, yes. That's okay, I don't use those brushes anyway. <laughs> so that is everything that I picked up in this whole video. Also, there is a tutorial on my eyeshadow look on my channel already. I'll link it in the little info section above or in the description box below as well if you guys want to see it. And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!